Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon Ash and Shadows. I'm on 2.46 this time. Uh, some small changes, but nothing that I've found too particularly interesting to mention it here. This time around, we're starting Mount Nerotnia campaign. Um, I've been hearing good things and bad things about this, so it's going to be an interesting campaign, and uh, especially to see how these battle groups have been changed since the start of, well, the vanilla game. I'm probably going to be doing about a half hour of strategizing before we actually get started with the conflict, so I'll make sure we have a comment down below where you can very quickly click to the battle. If you like the strategizing part, well, here we go. Main objective, capture Hiroshima, capture Tatori, capture Nagasaki, and capture Kanoya. It says control at least three airports, so I don't actually need to capture all of them by the looks of it, I just need to have three. Now, we start out in Osaka. What I have right here is the Independent Tank Regiment, and it looks like they just arrived because they have no initiative and no cohesion. These battle groups, or this particular battle group, has two AA units, uh, four command units total, two FOBs, that's good news, a couple of T-72As, although at this point in the game they are uh, not that useful anymore. Rate of fire is low, frontal armor is blah, for 20 points, okay. 272 B1, 1915, and the 80 BV, 18 AP, uh, pretty accurate gun, not ideally to be fired on the move. HGM on it, but APS pretty much negates most HGMs. Two reconnaissance vehicles in this group. Next, we have the 9th Guards Regiment. These have Modus Trelki, which are very good against vehicles up close, but they are regular trained troops, they die pretty quickly. They're transported by the BMP-2M, carrying four Coronet HGMs, which do a lot of damage. They have five frontal armor, they have an auto cannon on them that is very accurate and does quite a bit of AP. A couple of Buryuses to deal enemy air or sorry, to deal with enemy helicopters or air. BODM-2 for recon, and a Volk, which is an unarmed, uh, unarmored transport, or recon. Let's see, they have, as far as we can tell, quite a few battle groups. What we have over here is 20 tanks. This is the 2nd Central Tank Regiment. I'm not particularly impressed by these guys. They have the Nanion Shiki F, 10 frontal armor, 16 AP, an extremely accurate gun. Holy shit, 75% for a 30 point tank, that's not bad. Now these can be very dangerous to my infantry at 30 points. They also have the Nanion Shiki C, which is a slightly inferior version. It has 8 armor, it has 16 versus 13 AP, and loses quite a bit of accuracy. Then we have the 17th Infantry Regiment with the Ashiguru and the M67 hand recoilers rifles. As well as some... Oh, I don't like those. Chu P... Sorry, Chu MPM. Long range, extremely accurate, very deadly HGMs. The vehicle itself is pretty easy to kill, but that missile... Oh, I don't like that one at all. Okay, what else can we see? Down here, they have 16 Type 90 Kiyomaru, Smoothbore gun, 23 AP, 21 frontal armor, 70% accuracy. Okay. A couple of recon vehicles. Uh, this looks like an engineer's group with just a bunch of recoilless rifles and some cheap transports. And some maneuver combat vehicles. Uh, what exactly are these? Mobile, poor stealth. They have a Browning, they have an APS. And they have an M68A2, which is a direct attack heat weapon, 105mm. Pretty good rate of fire. Okay. Looks like they have an infantry group here. Ashiguru. Sorry, Ashigaru. M67 Han and the Mitsubishi Elint. And then helicopters. Uh, infantry school regiment. Hudaren, which is recoiled as rifle troops. Transported by KV-107s, a couple of recon helos, and some anti-tank helos. Oh joy. 
Oh joy. Now I also have some other reinforcements of my own. 217th VDV Regiment. VDV? Heavy tag? I like that. Coming in with the K-17 Boomerang. Oh wow. These are very good vehicles. They have a very good gun on them. They have five frontal armor. They're extremely mobile. They even have medium optics. Uh, I can imagine that... Yeah. This means that one unit of infantry is going to cost me 46 points. It's quite the investment. If I want to deploy this battle group, I need ha I need to have high cohesion, either on this group or another group that I'm using. And we have the Iskander, which is the tactical SRBM, short range ballistic missile. Uh, does a lot of HE damage. I'm not sure how lethal or how effective it's actually going to be against AI. A couple of Volk reconnaissance vehicles, 12 Nonas and 12 Sprut SD. Very accurate, very deadly gun. Not so much when I'm maneuvering. Frontal armor is terrible. These are tank destroyers, ambush vehicles. The Spatsnaz Brigade has VDV. Uh, <laughs> interestingly, the Spatsnaz Brigade barely has any actual Spatsnaz. Oh well. Uh, we have VDV with the Kurganet 2S. Sorry, Kurganet 25. Uh, Coronet a pretty good auto cannon and the Afghanit APS, as well as 10 frontal armor. Very nice. Cornet HGM, Igla AA, coming in with the robot and the Scrajet. Two sneaky sniper teams with the PTR 90. The ANSAT 2RC. Uh, this is a bit of a multi role. This thing can does air to or sorry can do air to ground with rocket pods and air to air with a Verba. A couple of Plamias. And a couple of Spetsnaz Gru. These guys have that cord heavy machine gun, an RPG-30 for dealing with vehicles in a fairly lethal manner. And the AKS-74U. And especially the heavy tag, as well as very good stealth and very good optics, makes these guys very valuable. Unfortunately, the T-15 IFV makes them very expensive to call in as well. Now, this is an IFV mounted on the chassis of a T-15, which you might recognize as the T-15 Armata. That means that this is an extremely heavily armored IFV that comes with the, again, very good TA-72M3 autocannon, a couple of Afghanid charges, and four HGMs. And then finally we have some uh, thermobaric Tiger FAE. Um, I imagine very good against infantry, and some more of those Spruits. Okay, okay, that's a start. Oh, we have more. We have the 319th Naval Infantry Regiment, consisting of Betepa Pekota, Marines, if I'm not mistaken. No, those are Morskaya. Anyway, we have two different groups of Morskaya, one by extremely fast helicopter, the KA-92, and the other transported by the BTR-80A. These have good AP, uh, good infantry or anti-infantry capabilities. They're backed up by some Cornet HGMs and a couple of these Batepa. I'm not really sure what to do with these. They have an MTLB Sosna R AA platform at an equal range against helicopters and airplanes. That's interesting. Not radar guided, fire and forget. A couple of T-80BVs and T-55 Drozd, I think, coming with an APS charge. And then we have a couple of recon units, napalm tank, Sturm S. Sturm not really that interesting anymore. It used to be a very good anti-tank vehicle back in the standard version of the game, but in this version, uh, 2800 meter range is good, 12 missiles is good, but AP is quite low. And then for naval units, uh, they have a couple of re resupply units. Yeah, logic units. A Type 23, a Nanushka 3, and a Schmel. Alright, what can I call in? Land forces. Whoa, this is going to take a while. Ah, VDV. I'm going to go over these slightly faster now. We have VDV, Concours, BRDM, Rees, Cornet, Sprut, Independent VDV Battalion, more VDV, 
Uh, the ideal situation is that these can all be airlifted. Strela, Volk, Recon, and a KA-52 group. Supply Company, MTLBVs, Recon. Second Independent Battalion. More VDV, Concours, Concours, and Copia. Copia have a combination of AT and AA. Interesting setup. Transported by the MI-24VM. These are expensive. You're paying 90 points, rounded up, for one unit of VDV Copia. Tiger Fay. Uh, okay. The 1065th VDV Regiment. You're not fooling anybody. We don't have that many. Uh, 16 VDV. Igla, VDV. These come with the Vampire. These come with the RPG-16D. That's interesting. Uh, transports KA-60 with Thermobaric, so that's very good against infantry. BMD-4, uh, HGM, auto cannon, main gun. Main gun only does HE though. MI-24PN, upgraded version of the MI-24P, as well as the MI-28. Okay, and then we have a VDV recon company consisting of 12 Resvedka, or Resvedki, as the plural is, I believe. BMD-2, Plamias. Jesus, you really got a lot of stuff you can call in. Uh, this is a bunch of cheap throwaway tanks. Naval Tank Battalion. They have 32 tanks in the standard infantry or the standard tank tab and a bunch of tanks that can float in. They also have Chrysanthema. Very good HGM. Fire and Forget, that's really nice. Nanushka and a bunch of Schmel. And Naval Anti-Air Company. Berius Estrella. Australia 10M. Oh, these things are not... Well... Actually, no, they might be a little better than they look. I thought 65% accuracy doesn't look very good. But... <laughs> the game somehow fools you, because now it says 45% accuracy on an A-gun is very good. 65% accuracy on a missile is not that good. Ah, uh, that's not really true. Naval Supply Company. Fobs, Kamas, more Kamas and Schmel. This is only there to support something. Naval Anti-Tank Battalion, ADBVs, uh, this could be handy, but they're still pretty cheap. More HGMs, more HGMs, and more HGMs. Holy crap. If you have a tank problem, this is who you call. And then we have the 1st Guards Regiment, sorry, Guards Tank Division. A couple of Verba AA Infantry, uh, a couple of Osa Morphe. Very good range against helicopters, good range against airplanes, 4 HE, 80% accurate. Unfortunately, radar guided. And a bunch of Briuses. The Guards, Anti Tank Battalion, T 90 AM. That is one way to deal with tanks, I'll give you that. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, this is the more. <laughs> this is the more traditional way. I would say you'd see an anti-tank battalion, but sure. Uh, Krizantama and Fey, and finally the MLRS. Yeah, this is really, really far down on my list of things I want to call in. What I'm most likely to call in now is the Kuznetsov, because the Kuznetsov can spawn in helicopter groups, and that is probably what I'll be using first. We also have a couple of aircrafts. We have MiG-35s, these drop cluster bombs. MiG-35S drop uh, a 5,000 meter range glide bomb, I think. Laser guided bomb. MI-30 or MiG-37 does a T. Very high, look at that. Naval Strike Squadron. Uh, napalm, napalm. Are those thermobarracks? Yeah, they're napalm bombs. This is if you want to really get out, or, or if you really want to kill off infantry quick. SU-34, oh, where did you go? SU-34, uh, bombers and cluster bombers. All right. Now, let's move up with the task force Minsk and see what we can find here. Because now I can see what the Japanese have here. Ideally, I first want to capture zones which have markers next to them so I can get more income. Um, Nankoku is very nice, but probably not the easiest zone to reach. 
because it's a 15 point zone but it also has five units in them or five battle groups uh, let's see where's the Kuznetsov gonna come in from hello from the east okay here you are hello boys Surprise, surprise, that's going to give me more... <laughs> that's going to give me more options. Okay, the DSHV Regiment, Spatsnaz, VDV, Sapri. Uh, looks like a very potent battle group. Set back, they are all going to come in in MI-24Ds. Uh, yeah. This means that they're all very expensive. Spatsnaz VMF and MI-28s. That's a good start. 319th helicopter regiment. Holy. 44 helos. Yeah. If you make up with 16 K92, which just do rocket pod damage and a bit of autocannon, that makes sense. I'm a 24 VN, anti tank upgraded. 24 VAA. Uh, Akula can do both. And the MI 28 and W. Very good against tanks as well as dealing rocket pod damage, but they only carry 10 rounds for that. Naval and Ship Company, 12 pretty decent range anti-ship helicopters. And finally, a reconnaissance company consisting of M24Ks, NSAT 2RCs, and KA-52. Unfortunately, I only have 20 points left. Yeah, there is that. That means I could call in the helicopter regiment, and something else for five points. Oh, of course they also have aircraft. MiG-29K, really good anti-ship units. Pretty cheap for an airplane. And the second naval and ship squadron with the SU-27SK, or sorry, SU-27K. These things hit... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? You are not an anti-ship missile. Anti-ship missiles don't do 18 HE. Wait, 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 wait. What are we firing at? Because I saw the Iskander in one of these battle groups, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. There it is. This one, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Okay, I'm not too sure about that battle group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Didn't really mean to move him around. Um, yeah. What do I want to take? What does Gobo look like? Uh-huh. That one. If I were to drop in, literally, I would come in in Charlie. This could be an interesting position to deploy VDV. And it would immediately give me one airport. I'm going to be facing Kiyomarushiki. I'm going to be facing Ashigaru, Nanasan Shiki, 67 Han, uh, more Huda Ren, which I can shoot down before they get to me, and more Han. If I capture this, it doesn't give me points, it does give me an airport. What are my other options? I cannot see what's going on at Tsushima. Or Tsuyama, so I don't know if it's safe to drop in there. What sort of a map is Hiroshima? Other than mostly flat, I imagine. Yeah. I would drop in in Bravo. Uh, whatever they have, it won't be pretty. How about Yamaguchi? 56 tanks. As well as CRF. I'm not even sure what they are. They're an elite group with a very accurate H&K XM8 and an MG36 with a bunch of helicopters to support them. And finally, a... Oh. Ho, 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 Never mind. Never mind. I have reconsidered. I am not going into Yamaguchi. Even if I wanted to, the VDV don't really stand a chance. Unless, uh, unless I go in and I attack with Nana or with um, helicopters and try to kill off the command vehicles. That could work, but I'm not sure if my helos can reach that far that fast. 
Um, I am pretty tempted to take Gobo. And maybe use that as an airport. That could work. These guys cannot quite reach over there. They can reach EO. If I scout over here, does that work? No. That means I have no idea what I'm going to be facing. Okay, tell me Nkoku. 67 Han. CRF. Oh, joy. Uh... Apache, okay. AH-64DJP, rocket pods, right. Uh, Ashigaru, rocket pods, helos, and a couple of, well, make that more than a couple of AA weapons. <laughs> and Patriots. Oh, I don't like Patriots. And these guys against my helos are not that good. These guys are very good. These guys are also very good. Okay, we're not dropping into Nankoku anytime soon. That's for damn sure. Going after this zone. It's not ideal either. These guys, however, do not have any AA. I'm going to call in a helicopter group. This one. I hope they have enough initiative. They should. I'm going to quickly wipe out these two. And then I can start to move up with the rest of the infantry here. Uh, I'm thinking this is the only thing I'm going to be using for now. That means I could use the marines to go over to Masuda. So you guys are going to have to move. Okay. Obama, first sector. We're coming in from Charlie. They have, as mentioned, nothing for AA. Absolutely nothing. Um, this is going to be a bit of a slaughter. And that's good. Okay, 20 minutes in. Make that 22. Let's go hunting. The reason why I picked this particular sector, by the way, is because it also allows me to get a few more resupply points. And with that, I'm hoping to get a little bit more income for bringing in additional units. Now, this is going to be a critical unit, the MI-24K. I'm going to have a couple of these MI-28 and Ws, because they can one-shot virtually every tank that the enemy has. Uh, I have no ground forces. None. And everything that I need to call in, I need to do that right now. So I'm going to go in with another command helicopter. I'm going to try to maneuver that one around and try to either capture Osaka or preferably Totori on the left. They don't have any helicopters, so I don't need the MH24Vs. I'm going to try and level up the MH28s and Ws and... Let's see. Oh, you guys are already elite. Interesting, that could help. But, no, actually, this is a pretty easy task force to deal with. Let's go with a couple of KA-20, or KA-92s, not 28s. Um, mm -mm -mm, what to go, what to go with. I think more of these NWs. I'm going to keep a couple in reserve. I'm imagining that those Crescentima AGGMs are extremely expensive to rearm. So I'm going to have to be careful and not bring in too many. Now ideally, I would capture all the zones and just destroy the battle group. But that's not possible, because I cannot capture Naval Sector Hotel. Alright, what else can we bring? Akula? No, I think we're going to have to mostly go with these. Okay, 92. I do want them airborne. And fine, we're going to call in both of those PNs. 
Alright, that's it. Slow. I want to manually control which HGM fires at what. Not... There. That's what I do not want to see. I want you guys to hold fire on your rocket pods. I cannot afford to launch all the HGMs at the same time, because I will not be able to resupply them. I simply don't have the points, or don't have the supplies to do that. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. Do not attack those transports, because they are simply... Sorry, they're not even transports, they're tanks. Attack the transports. You guys, attack the tanks. I'm gonna do this one at a time. Go for these. Got one. Last tank. Ceasefire. Oh, I'm not sure where you dunked that shot, but that was pretty crappy. Go for the tanks. Are these fire and forgets? Yes, they are. Alright, missile away. That should kill one. 30 points. Are they double tapping those targets? Jeez, you can even penetrate that? Wow. Taking out a tank with a main gun. Alrighty then. That's a start. Oh, 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 oh. Hold fire. This is something that the K-92s can do. With the roto cannon. There's another bunch of tanks coming in. To try and maneuver a little bit down this way. See if I might be able to find their command unit and shut it down. Whoever's firing rocket pods, I need you to stop. Here come the tanks. Now, talking about tanks, this is when you can start to use those chrysanthemums. Whoa, 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 whoa. Appreciate the enthusiasm, but not the distance. Crap. I'm starting to get overwhelmed here. Go for the transports. At this point, we're going to have to use the main weapons. Try and engage quickly. Jeez, you already used all of your main gun ammo. You only carry 900 rounds. Alright, that's a new deal. Command vehicle spotted. Let's see if you can shoot it. You're out. I want that fob. Alive. Preferably. Okay, that's them down. Let's try and get the command vehicle in here. Guys are getting shot at. Sure, not to have that happen. This one's completely out of well everything. You still have missiles. What are we firing at? Ah, tanks. Perfect. Go for the next one. Bit of micromanaging here. Let's land these, see if it's safe. Missile away. Ooh, more cargo units. Yes, please. Yes, please, yes, please. I like your cargo units, give them to me. You guys, resupply. You are getting a touch too close. Oh, wow, we already lost an elite one. Damn it, I kept moving them out too far. That was my bad. Oh, and now, of course, they're taking shots at their own fob. Because reasons. Does mean I need to be a bit careful about landing that command helo. Be a crying shame if I lost that one. Okay, we can bring in reinforcements. 
I need you to split. I need you to land here. And I need you to land there. We're gonna steal them. Okay, so far so good. We've lost, I think, one or two helicopters so far. That's about it. Unfortunately, <laughs> everything has expended its ammunition. There is that. Oh, hello. Hello. Do you have any plans? You going anywhere? Oh, dude, where are those command or where are those uh, logic trucks? Why are they moving around with a command vehicle? Unfortunately, I can't hit it. Sure, launch. <laughs> that works. That works rather well. Okay, so they still have two resupply points, Osaka and Tsushima. And I would really like to get them both. I need you guys to just make your way here. Well done capturing those command... or why do I keep calling command units? Well done capturing those resupply units. Oh, now you're showing up? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're staying right here, sunshine. Boo. Touchdown, and they're all mine. Thank you. Thank you. Could always use more resupply. Helos are hungry things. Moving up. We still have command units to kill, and Japanese units to move. See, this is the problem here. Um, I wasted a lot of missiles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, never mind. Every time I see a red command unit, I think I need to kill that. Forgetting that I am now the captain. <laughs> I'm now red for it. That's what you get after playing all those campaigns. Uh, this is a cruelty to small transports. A little bit. Whatever, you're gone. You have one vicar left. That means you're gonna have to resupply that. You have got to be kidding. Are we? Yeah. These things are not on turrets. Oh, hang on. How do we not have that last one? Something's shooting. I'm not really sure what that is. Anyway, we need to find that last command unit. Shut it down. Yakula is there. You're ready to go. You're ready to go. And you are ready to go. So far, it looks like only this one's been promoted. That's a bit unfortunate, but... So be it. There's your command unit. Shame if something happened to it. Oh. I will get you or I will kill you, whichever happens first. There's two command units, actually. Okay. Okay, we can work with that. Where are you hoping to run off to? Oh, shit. Shit, we cannot lose that reconnaissance unit. That's the only recon helicopter that I have on this group. And I'm not too trusting about the reconnaissance capabilities of the helicopters themselves. Stop firing at innocent, well, mostly innocent transports. What was that? 98% accuracy. Splash him. <laughs> Look at this guy just picking off these transports. The one that I want you to pick off is the command. Over there. Oh. The guy pretty much parked either in or under a house. 
That was expensive. That was really expensive. I think that was another one of these. I know where you are. I just can't shoot you. Come here. Please? On approach, and... That's not the last one. Aha! Oh, they just brought in another one? Anyway, both of them have been destroyed, and I lost exactly... four helicopters. A couple of K-92s and one of PN. This was careless. I didn't have to lose that one. Anyway, this is a good start. Now we can get a little bit more intel on what they have in the other zones. Tsuyama has a couple of those Pip K stamps, as well as Hitomaru. Oh, these are no cakewalk either. That's a lot of armor. Oh, what else? They have more recoil. No, sorry, more infantry. And Huda Ren. What sort of map is that? Ooh, talk about open maps. Could we just crash the party into Tori? With one of these airborne groups? Cornets might do it, but I have very little resupply. They have F2 aircraft. Uh, they have a bunch of transports and those tanks. See, these are not the problem. These are... Well, yeah, no, these are. Okay, so where can I mess up their forces? Where can I do that rather safely? I need more information. I'm going to send out the naval group there. Now I have intel. The 5th helicopter battalion, consisting of one ninja, 12 cobras, and a bunch of apaches. Jeez, there's more of these tanks. Those case stamps are showing up everywhere. Holy crap. Oita, this is another port. So naturally they parked 56 tanks over there. As well as a bunch of AA. And an infantry group. Their infantry is really bad. Same with their transports. It seems like they're mostly relying on those tanks. Ah, crap, I can't even reach it. Uh, can you reach it? No, you can't reach it. Okay. If we move here, can we see what's in the other zone? Hiroshima, Kai, 78 tanks, consisting of both Type 90s and Type 10s, as well as, yes, they're, <laughs> they're here again, Recoilers Rifle Troops, and a couple of Kais. Oh, these are anti-ship missiles. Kongsberg JSM. No fun. No, actually. They're HEGM aircraft. My bad, they're not anti-ship aircraft. Alright, so I have a decision to make. Where are we going to hit? I would say... Masuda. Reason being, I can take out the infantry. I can take out the other group here. They don't have too many vehicles. And especially, they don't have any tanks. So, you guys are going to have to engage in Masuda. How would that look? Because I start in a pretty shitty pl place here, in Delta. Um, the only thing I would probably need to be concerned with is the Mitsubishi. That dangerous AT weapon. The boomerang doesn't have anything can deal with that. The VDV, though, the VDV and the boomerang combined can very easily take out all the infantry. These are the only things 
these and these that slightly worry me. I don't have any aircraft groups on standby, do I? No, I spent all my points. That's unfortunate. What about you? Uh, that's just more vehicles. It is, however, Kurganet. Oh, they only have one move left. <sighs> right, what sort of maps, Motogami? That. I would probably start in Alpha. Which, as far as I can tell now, really doesn't have any buildings. So, no thanks. Toyama was one of those areas that had the tanks in them. Which all have APS and a lot of charges as well, so they're very difficult to deal with using AGGMs. Uh, no fun. I don't know where to send these. Marugame doesn't hold that much strategic value. I would love to capture ports and airports first. Because from there, I can really quickly take over new terrain. Okay, take out Masuda. Again, we're starting in Delta. Um, it doesn't really matter which zone I capture. Could be Tsuyama, could be Yamaguchi, could be Totori. Anything works here, really. Let's see. Um, we have a lot of points. That's a good start. We can call in the Sprutz. We can call in the Nona, which have a pretty decent ammunition supply, so we don't really need to be concerned about resupplying them. Totori is difficult to defend against AGGMs. Uh, they could have an infantry fest over here in Yamaguchi. And I don't want to do infantry on infantry. I want to move quickly with vehicles. Where are we even going to put the CV? Well, we're not going to keep it here for much longer if I'm in charge. Alright, let's deploy some infantry here. Do I have a command? Yeah, I do have a command infantry. Ah, uh, this is a difficult call. Command infantry is easier to hide. A Volk is easier to move. I'm going to go with both. I'm probably going to move the Volk to Tsuyama. This is a bit of a canal. Are you amphibious? You are amphibious. This is wonderful. I like amphibious vehicles. They give me options and flexibility. And both are good. Recon! Yes, we're going to need a recon. Are you... you're not amphibious. Unfortunate, but we can work around that. Now I'm going to have to spend all my points just to quickly try and neutralize as many zones as possible, and then I can bring in my own reinforcements. Until that happens, I don't have a resupply point, so I need to be extremely aggressive here. I'm going to have to rely on the Sprutz to also take out vehicles. These things are amphibious, so they can also move around here. Uh, no, I don't want Nona's. I want some more infantry here. Where would they likely deploy? I think here. That would be my estimate. They deploy here. Uh, yeah. To deploy, deploy, deploy. All of you move up. Send these guys over here and hope that we don't run into a hail of ATGMs. Where are you guys? Here you are. Check fire on the ATGMs. Whoa, whoa. There's the ATGM group. And somebody brought their APS. Kill one. Get out. Somebody definitely brought their AGGM here. Boomerangs moving up. Sprutz move up. You guys. To the right. I want the VDV to move out. 
Want the boomerangs to move up. We have an ATGM worthy target there, by the looks of it. We need to fall back, fall back, into the tree line, fall back. Because now we know where the majority of their forces is coming from. It's across those bridges. That is good to know. 75 points. I'm not sure what that, that was exactly. Deploy. Most likely recoilless rifles in this town. We have a lot of maneuverability on these vehicles. Might as well use it. Volk is ready to deploy. Oh, a fob! I am so happy you want to donate that. That is such a considerate move. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. ATGMs. ATGMs. Wiped out another boomerang. Move over here. VDV. Push. Encircle and kill. Oh, we have some more VDV. We have some more VDV. We can use that. Boomerangs. Need you to all move over there. At this point we're losing some sprouts. Maneuver combat vehicles are getting involved. Showing their ugly heads. Sprout are not doing very well. They're getting some kills. That is about it. We need to kill those. Fast. They have stabilizer. They do not have a stabilizer. Wipe them out when they're sitting still. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get the command vehicle. Wherever that is and whatever that is. We need a reconnaissance unit here. As well as a boomerang. One is enough. The VDV should be able to wipe out the infantry here. Here's a thought. If I can capture all these zones, I can completely destroy the battle group. Guaranteed. Two Tutori has been captured. You can deploy there. Oh, what are you guys doing in here? Not particularly happy about my... Oh, hang on. Fall back. You're now in range of a fairly dangerous infantry unit. Not sure if I really took care of the command unit. I guess not. Now I did. Still a threat in there. So far so good. The computer's lost a lot of points. That's exactly where I want them. Let's get the VDV to start moving. Where are we firing at? Oh, Ashigara. Okay. Can we float command vehicles? Here we... No! Volk GUs are not amphibious. Okay, so there goes the plan to just capture all the command zones. Fine. I want boomerangs that have been damaged to go back to the supply point and to get resupplied. Frontline's gonna get some transports to get resupplied all on their own. Uh, they seem to have a large amount of vehicles there. Do we have any surviving sprouts? I think not. That sucks. Quite a bit. I rather like those sprout vehicles. We don't have too many of them left, just six. Get some mortars ready for counter-battery fire. Cannot get too close here. A priority target has just appeared. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's another MCV. You, 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 move up. He's just popping some fairly valuable infantry. Fuso cargo vehicles. Oh, I captured some, didn't I? Yep, to the front line. We 
need to kill some of these vehicles first before I'm really able oh not all of them before I'm able to deal with the infantry and these boomerangs well this is just target practice Ho, ho, ho. That's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. Come on, buddy. Okay, boomerang's firing. Long range at a vehicle. No more vehicle. What's going on? A couple of units incoming. Two Sprouts, Recon, one Boomerang. Aha! We're taking fire from Recoilless Rifles. And I wouldn't be surprised if I lose one. There it goes. Move up. These Boomerangs to come here. Here are the transports. Can't quite hit them yet. There's a bunch more of them here. With most of those transports dead, we can move up. Slightly safer. Ceasefire HGM. You just sit there, you here. You're going to be very close range contact. Lost another boomerang. Point the infantry gets involved. Ah, it's one of those damn maneuver vehicles. An MCV. Get out of your transport. Everybody get out of their transport. I have to do this the hard way. Boom. <laughs> Where's your command unit, huh? Must be somewhere in these woods. Let's lob some mortar rounds at them. Just lost another boomerang. I hope I didn't lose too many infantry units. Oh, there it is. Although, was that a second one? That? Yes. That would be another command unit. And they surrendered? Retreated? Surrendered. They've both been destroyed. Losses! One VDV. One Volk and four Sprutz. For capturing a new territory, I'd say that's a good start. That is a good start. Um, do I dare attack Marugame? That's the last battle of this episode. I have the Kurganets. Which are very good vehicles. Also makes the VDV pretty expensive, but I might be willing to accept that. Oh, and I have the T-15 heavies here. Right. Well, they're not going to be able to take out a tank group, that's for sure. So, Gobo is no option. Alright, this is it. Land. And we take out a tank group. <laughs> sort of. 13 AP and 18 AP. Interesting news. 13 AP doesn't hate me, or doesn't scratch me. Uh, 18 AP starts to get interesting. And starts to damage these vehicles. Show me Marugame. We're starting an Alpha. We have 4 Cohesion. Plus 6 from the zone, but we cannot bring in reinforcements. We're going to have to go to either Tsuyama... Nikoku or, ideally, Io. This thing gets me a plus two. They have 36 units. Uh, tanks, C and E version. Two recons. Oh, more of those HGM vehicles. And five command units of the Type 90 variant. I have the Kurganets. These guys carry HGMs. Um, I have a couple of Sprouts. These can... Can they one-shot a tank? Oh, it depends on the range. Depends on the range. They might be able to do it. Tiger Fay against infantry. And the T-15 heavy. 
This is going to be interesting. I pretty much lucked out there. <laughs> I got really lucky with not encountering a dangerous battle group. The question is, where is the first slaughter going to be? Where is that first group going to start? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Boris. Because from Boris they have a pretty easy time shooting up everything in Anna. Similarly, it could be Dimitri. It's not likely to be Fedor. Not likely to be any of the other zones. So I'm betting on Boris. That means I want my Sprutz in position. I'm going to put these on the other side. We have a good number of recon units. Including, of course, well, to some extent, the T-15 Heavy. I'm going to have these guys here. These do have APS, so even if I do take heavy missiles, I can still survive those. I have one, one reconnaissance unit that's airborne. We're going to have to be very careful with that one. I want another logistics unit. I'm probably going to move those from one of those vehicles into a T-15, because they feel a lot safer in there, or at least I feel safer if they are in there. I'm going to try to make a push towards EO. That's going to be with infantry. Kurganets. Uh, let's make that groups of four, actually. Coming out from behind the tree line. And escorted by one Plamio. This is going to be interesting. Drop off. I need to find out where they are. Uh, command infantry into the T-15. You're going to take up this position. So, you guys decided not to spawn anywhere? See, I'm not eager about taking out all of these tanks in the open. Or at least at shorter range. That would be dangerous for me. Maybe it's easier to move towards Nankoku. It's more cover, a couple of buildings here and there, and the AI always follows the roads. Drop this Spetsnaz Gru off. Where are you going to start? This feels very ominous. I really want to know where you guys are coming out from. Still, we're going to make progress towards this side. Like it or not, here I come. Sprut, by the way, have a very good range. These guys have a 2450 meter range. That means that they outrange those tanks. And that makes them quite safe. Because they cannot take a hit. But if they can take out the ra enemy tank at range, that will definitely help. Let's have that command unit move up. If they attack this place, I might need to evac it. Come on, boys, where are you? Are the Japanese not interested in a fight? They're not going to defend their territory? What is this? Keep going. We need you to move here and defend that, or at least spot that flank, so we know what's going on. You guys... Uh, here. Again, flank spotting duty. This is almost eerily quiet. Which usually means that you're going to get... <laughs> completely clusterfucked by the enemy AI or by the AI because it decides to suddenly deploy everything right on top of you. Okay. Push. The Kruganets have medium optics. Plamia has the best optics of the whole group. Let's wait a little. 
This is another T-15 Heavy MT-1. You can fire at what? 2730, so that's about here. Okay. You're going to be spotting. You're going to be... Oh! What's that? Transports. Nanosans. And we're in range to deal heavy damage, but there's nothing in there. Where are your occupants? That's cargoes. Where are your units? The hell? Hmm. Well, we have 40 minutes to find them. 30 minutes left. If I can get some more cargoes, that would be wonderful. Shit! Hold, hold, hold. There goes one of my sprouts. Didn't have that many to begin with. These are a priority. Ow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We need a reinforcement point. And that's it. Hold on. They're here. Got them. We need to plan me to move this way. Try to spot them in advance. Anyway, if all these cargoes are here, they might have a fob here as well. That would be especially interesting and a very good capture. No, there. Offload. Yep. Find your command vehicle. Boom. Exit command vehicle. There. 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 Here. Hold Plamia. Capture. Do not kill. There's the fob! We have found a fob! This is a good start. I'm not sure, or rather I'm quite sure that the fob doesn't actually make it. It's not something that you get to keep. Let's just start. Alright, now we're going to move down this road to Nankoku. Once the Kurganets have been resupplied. These guys are good to go. Um, I'm going to have a reconnaissance unit here. Plamia is not ideal. So let's use a T-15 Heavy IFV as a long range... Oh, hello! Hello, hello. As a long range defensive unit. Get ready. Shit's about to get real. I had 36 of those things. I haven't even seen half of them. Although this is a start. Boom. One down. Try and get the reconnaissance unit instead, if you can. That's more valuable. Because without those, these tanks don't really have any optics. Missed them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They do have a good rate of fire. Another 27 points. Hello! You are awfully brave. Moving through, unescorted and all. What are you thinking? He's gonna take AGGMs to the face. Can we capture another zone? Because capturing Dimitri would give me another plus four. Well... No, never mind. I don't think we need it. I wouldn't know what to do with all the income. Pretty much. Let's get the Fuzos over here. Even if I lose them, they're nice to have. The recon pushing forward. Alright, push the contact. There's more Nanny on Shiki E. Push to contact. Wait, what? Am I being attacked somewhere? I'm not, am I? I don't see it anyway. 
Spruits. Get ready to party. This could be a, this is an elite sprut. And there's another elite sprut. Very good. Move up recon. Push with Kurganets. And we have potentially recoilless rifle units here. Whoa! 145 points. That was a T90 command unit. And more Fuso to capture. They're just giving it away. And they don't use a reconnaissance unit here either, so... Oh, I stand corrected. They do have a reconnaissance unit. I may have to micro those a bit. Boris secured by the enemy. This is Boris. I cannot have these things fire that weapon. That would really rain on my parade. No, no, no. Don't you think that's a bit much? I would say those guns can do that job more than adequately. Regroup. Engaging Nana Yonshikis. It's still just two Spruits firing here. That's all that I'm using. Pushed to contact, no contact. So, order not yet complete. Let's keep going. It's a large map, by the way. Interesting that the Japanese haven't run out of fuel yet. Generally, that is a big issue about that deck. They simply don't have the fuel to keep going. Right, let's wipe. Oh! That's what I was concerned with. Fortunately, the VDV survived. Only just. Keep pushing. Need these guys dead ASAP. Alright, there's one down. Keep going. Attack move. Another infantry unit down. These are the transports. This is another group. All of them. Let's get those Fuzos over here. Are these guys resupplied? Nope. The Fuzos are taking their sweet time getting here. Alright. Move to fast. This vehicle itself is blind. The occupant is not. I need to find this unit and potentially use the infantry inside to shut it down. Because it's probably another T-90 command unit. Get in here for safety. Look at that T-15 go! This is an IFV. But those AT vehicles don't stand a chance. Oh no, this is Skrejet. Oh, you guys still haven't been resupplied. Fine. Go. They have an RPG-30 that does a lot of damage to armor. There it is. This thing is likely to also do a lot of damage to the T-15. Okay. Let's get these guys moving. Uh, we can come in from the flank. I hope. Really hope. Oh. The Spatsnaz Gru are capable of dealing with that command unit. Well, that's the answer. The command unit is very dangerous to my vehicle. Where's the Plamia? All the way over there. Okay, we're gonna have to move the Plamia up. Jeez, this is a long episode. I didn't mean for me to make 70 minutes. Should have stopped at 50. Oh well. Hello. Move up. Here's 
There's another Mitsubishi. I think we may have all of their... Oh, those are dangerous. I think we may have all of their units at this point. All those dangerous anti-tank units. Not quite sure if we took down that command unit. We didn't. We're about to. Well done, Spatsnaz. If you guys weren't elite, then you sure as hell are now. Alright, and then the last sector. Tsuyama. Unfortunately, I don't have the command units to capture all of these. Still, I gotta say that these VDV performed admirably. Lots of stuff in there. Sprout, T15, let's slow it down a bit. Since I'm oh, 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 oh. Not quite sure what we're looking at. That's a recorder's rifle infantry. Fall back. You guys are far too valuable to lose. Far too valuable. Alright, let's deploy one infantry group. I want them to fire at my infantry, because the infantry can take it. They won't do that much damage, especially since we have the heavy tag. And if they fire, they give their own position away. Which will kill them. That's not exactly what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Damn recoilless rifles. Shit, we lost a VDV. There's a command unit. Prior target. You're gonna have to close in. And take it out. The hard way. ATGM's out. Good hits. This thing's getting peppered by AT weapons, and there we go, we have it. And that is another two groups destroyed. I lost one VDV, I lost one Plamia, and one Sprut. 228 points in kills, 319 points in losses, but again, most of them will recover. They will respawn. So, good start. Good first episode. Captured Masuda, captured Nankoku, captured Obama. That's a good start. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. As you might have imagined, ran quite long. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you soon for the next one, which uh, I can guarantee you will not be 72 minutes. See you soon.